Okay, welcome back. Today we're looking at figure 559, the dovetail slide on page 152 of your packet, and that is this one here in the top right hand corner. So we have a full width of 8 inches, a height of 2.5, a, a little step of 1.5, and, and an angle of 45 degrees, and our full depth. So it seems like very minimal amount of dimensions, but this is actually all I need to uh, create this particular drawing. So in AutoCAD, open up a new standard CAD template. And you need to have your, sorry, the video may have glitched. Either way, we are in a standard CAD template, and we are going to get over this rubric that we created just a few days ago. And you should have one in one of your multi-view, uh, four, five, or six. Either way, if you select that, do a control V on your keyboard, and you'll see down here it'll do, oh, not that, sorry, a control C to copy, my mistake, copy clip, and then go over to standard template, Control v to then paste, and that'll paste it in there. So I have that off to the side, so at the end you can test your, uh, kind of check yourself. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to draw the front view of this. The front view is actually going to be looking at the same direction it's set up. This can be argued, the front view should be this, because it shows a better profile. Either way, it would be okay, but I'm going to do this longer way as the front view. With my ortho mode on, I have a full width of 6, I 2.5. And then I also have an offset of 1.5. There we go. So that's going to be my front view from the side. I'm going to go ahead and start to construct the top view. The depth of 4. And I made a mistake already because this is actually supposed to be 8, not 6. So I'm just going to shoot that over. Okay, now I got it right. All right, now for my right side view, I'm going to project over the top. I'm going to start out with the box. Even though we know that there is an angle in it, that 45 degrees, I'm going to start out by drawing just the box shape of it first. So if we look here, we have 45 degrees. The easiest way is just do an XL angle of 45. So do XL angle of 45, and you can just snap that in right in the corner. Do an XL angle of minus 45 this time, and so there. So now there's going to be this little edge, this little flat part, and it's not a distance of where it's at. We know it's 1.5 from the bottom, but at this point, just be easiest. Just go ahead and just project this over all the way through, and you can just trim this out. Anything else, I would just delete. Okay. So now we're also going to have hidden lines that are in this top view, because we need to show this corner that's down here on the underside. But it doesn't. But it does not show a measurement of how far, and we just know that it's 45 degrees. So the easiest way to get this is to draw a miter line. So an XL angle of 45 degrees, and where our right side view and our top view line up. So we're going to snap that in. So then I can project up both of these corners. And where they intersect with the miter line, that is where my hidden line will go. Trim this out, delete this stuff, done. Our last step is then our dimensions. Uh, the dimensions I'm going to place in, I'm going to do my front view right here in between. So I have my overall height, my other step. I have my overall depth, which can go either in the top view or the right side view. It's really not going to matter in this case, but pretty much any dimension that you see that's in the packet for this particular one, we're going to have on here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's only five dimensions that exist in this one. So I already have one, two, three, four. The last one I got to do in Angular. I'm just going to go click angle and then the flat, stretch it out 45 degrees. And my text is a little bit small for this, so I'm actually going to go to my Annotate tab, my Dimension Style, and let's modify this text so it's just a little bit bigger. Yeah, that makes it much better. All right, so then you can have your, your rubric off here to the side. Make sure they have everything accurate, neat, your template is completely filled out. 
and you have this one at, I think one to one should fit, let's find out. So I put this on viewport. And right click properties. My standard scale says custom. A one to one does not fit. Okay, so it looks like one to two will be our scale for this particular one. Go inside, center that, and there we go. So here for this time, in our scale, we need to make sure we change this to say double click on it, and say one to two. So it's actually a half size. All right, fill out your template. This can still say multi views, your name, last name, first name, all caps. This assignment number is actually multi view number eight. All right, see you in the next one.